feels like home. Here, take this. Just crank the handle to make it work. This used to be a research facility, cutting edge. We did things down here nobody dreamed of. Not before nor since. Yet, for all our manpower, we didn't know what the stones really were until it was too late. The stones? <laughs> the world stones. Giant red crystals that let us see into other worlds. Even travel to them. So, what? We just hide the stones away and hope the Soviets hadn't found their own? <laughs> no. We had to know everything there was to know about it. It was a matter of national security, of pride. So, yeah, we opened the door and walked through. But something was waiting on the other side. It didn't happen right away. Hell, the inhabitants of the worlds we traveled to couldn't follow us. We thought we were safe. But yeah, the route found a way. After that, well, we all know what happened after that. Locked, huh? Well, this is my house. <laughs> Come on. I gave Ellen a few things to hang on to in case of emergency. Uh, she must have hidden it around here. Come on, Ellie, where'd you hide it? That red thing, we call it a dragon heart. <laughs> Don't ask why. Take it with you. You might need it. Take a look at that matchbook you found. I got a hunch. Let's get this door unlocked. Can't stand around all day. Is that the... The World Stone. Yes. Or part of it, anyway. Every shard's as useful as the whole. We shut it down after Harsgard died. Like I told Ellen at the time, the damn thing's more dangerous than useful. Huh. Of course not. Uh, never mind. Now, let's see if that worked. Work to do what exactly? to bury this place. Not just lock it away, but get some explosives and bury it in a tomb of concrete. More dangerous than useful, Traveler. Remember that. Ford. Ford? Ford! Oh, man. 
Bo is gonna be pissed. Huh. That bastard did it. He actually woke it up. Clementine? Hey. Did he tell you how to use it? Do I even want to? System failure is imminent. The core has been compromised. The utility is required. Commencing acquisition. Ah! Help! Clementine! <laughs> Don't let go! Where are you guys? Was that? This is all insane. Both the crystal and Ford. Okay. Better get moving if I'm gonna find Clementine.
That's far enough. Paxodek. It stands before the Eternal Empress, mistress of the Red Court, favored of the Thane. Yet it is nothing. Hoofless, feckless, interloper. Easy now. And where it stands, it dies. Well, maybe we can talk about this? It seems it shall live for now. But tell us, Paxeldeck, what woes does it bring this time? It stands before the Eternal Empress, once and future ruler of Yesha. Her Majesty asks once more. <sighs> Improbable. For what reason, Paxeltech? Give answers, lest improbable become impossible. Her Majesty is unsurprised by its solipsism. From the Krell to Ford to the Destroyer, Paxeltech ever served the wants of the self. <sighs> There is no name more cursed in these royal halls. When the pestilence came, Ford succored the schismatics. Treachery turned to ruin. Ruin to desperation. Her Majesty would see Ford bleed. Would see all Paxotec put to the blade. But the Paxotec prowess is fearful. Ford, the Destroyer, and others were stabbed. Perhaps Paxotec's strength can serve to liberate rather than oppress Her Majesty. In her... Her permanence has spent many lifetimes. The Paxotec do not demand the Paxel to acquire for Her Majesty. It is a she does but the above be not her bane. Gods! That may not be so, Wanderer. If you are what I think you are, you will be traveling far beyond these walls. But first, there is something you must learn. I am not the Empress. The one who calls herself Interpreter is the real Empress. Once she was truly Nonyodav, ageless, or so they say. When the Thane Tree died, the Highborn all began to age. Eventually, she too succumbed to the touch of time. My presence on the throne is but a concession to- You have had a task set before you. Asked, perhaps, for foolish reasons by one both venal and selfish. But the task itself is pure, just the same. I shall release you. I ask only that you stay a moment and give ear to my entreaty. Yesha is... music. We call ourselves the... But this future cannot begin while the... What the Empress demanded of you. Ask. Once Yesha... The Elf... It is trapped now. In Yesha, one is the... The other is... Even now. We children... Then may the vision of the... When the tree... 
No thing, the essence of it only stands to reason. All young Pan do service. I know not why the Empress chose me. I was not the first. <laughs> Such thing, though we all agree, yes. You have tasted the bitter fruit of the Empress's ego. For that you have my sympathy. I am called Zoe. Thank you. He would have named me. Remember, the dreams of Yesha's children walk with you. Yesha's future lies not in freedom from death, but in harmony with life. Put the many-faced one to rest. Free the god spot. Not bad. Oh, my God. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> 